and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day is minimum repeat to make substring which is marked as a medium level problem okay let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two strings s1 and s2 okay and we have to return integer type okay now let's find out what we have to do so we will be have to return minimum number of times s1 has to be repeated such that s2 is a substring of it okay now what does this mean this means key s1 this is s1 we have to repeat it multiple times such that s2 is a substring of s1 means s2 is uh, present anywhere in s1 okay s2 is present anywhere between s1 okay and we have to return how many times minimum times we have to repeat it okay how many minimum times we have to repeat it okay all right so basically for this you can see we have to get 3w the size is 2w s1 so until the size is less until s1 size is less than s2 we cannot get because like to have a substring of s2 s1 length should be at least greater than or equal to s2 okay all right i hope this one this point is clear okay so this is the first point now another thing is look here it is uh, let me delete all these things now here it is a b c d and c d a b c d a b okay so if i will repeat it two times so a b c d so the first possibility will be ki if the size of s1 is equal to size of s2 if i will repeat it it will be equal a b c d then also it can it can be possible ki s2 is not present in s1 s2 is is not is not have not become a substring of s1 why because you can see a c d a b c d a b but here c d a b c d a b is not there so we have to get at least one more time okay so anywhere i can have it a b c d okay now this is repeated three times a b c d is repeated three times so if it's not like first of all i will repeat it until s1 size is less than s2 and i will check ki if uh, uh, we will keep on repeating and now s1 size is equal to s2 or greater than a bit equal to so i will check it but for safety i will check one more times because i have shown it here i repeated it twice but it still it was not coming okay it still it was not coming so we have to check it once more we have to add one more thing one more time so abcd so that is it so we will keep on counting and at last we will simply return one more check which we can add is very simple ki if suppose s2 contains c s2 contains c okay but s1 does not contain c but s1 does not have c so how many time as many times you can repeat s1 you will not get s2 so we can add that one check as well so with that three checks we can simply write the code for it i hope the explanation will be clear so let's quickly jump on to the code okay so it's not a like very rocket science there is not a very data structure very tricky things used but uh, it's just a bit simple intuition about getting the minimum number of times okay all right so first of all as i told i will check if s2 has all the if s1 has all the characters needed in s2 okay then only it will be possible okay isn't it so int i is equal to 0 i is less than s2 dot length i plus plus i will check if if s1 dot if not s1 dot contains what a string dot value of s2 dot char at i i will explain this as well no issue in that we will simply return minus 1 what does this means guys what does this mean this means ki look suppose i have to get no okay first of all string dot value of s2 dot char at i so you know s2 dot char at i will return as a character but we have to convert it into string okay we have to convert it to string so that it can contains can be used because contains can only be used to a string function okay so i am using s2 dot char at i for that and string dot value of now s1 contains the string now suppose a b so c first of all c is there s2 Okay, s2 dot char at i c c is converted to string. I will check if s1 contains c or not because if s1 does not contain c, so it like s2 can never be present in s1. Okay, so I will simply return minus one in that case. All right, I hope that will be clear. Now, now the it's very very easy. I will simply first of all do int count is equal to zero. I will repeat. Okay, and now I will be using one string builder as well because a string builder you know it's mutable. It's mutable, so we can add add strings to it. Okay. now string builder let's name it sb is equal to new string builder something like this and uh, moving forward while while what while sb dot length is less than s2 dot length okay i will keep on adding i will keep on adding our count and i will keep on appending sb 
dot append s1 okay so i will keep on making new string i hope it will be clear it's not very very typical now after coming the outside i will check if sp dot to a string okay we have to convert it to a string and then i will check dot contains s2 if yes i will simply return count return count okay all right now look this sb dot length this will be over if like suppose abcd is there i will add abcd twice so its size is equal and i will come out of this okay but we as i told for safety i will add one more time as well okay so i will simply do sb dot append s1 okay and and i will increase count as well because i'm now adding one more time okay again i will check the same thing again i will copy this paste this so if still it is there i will simply return count now but if still it is not present so there is no chance i will simply return minus one and let's submit it i hope the problem statement explanation and the code all will be clear to you so please subscribe the channel if you like the video and like the explanation because the subscribers are not increasing okay all right so it got accepted i was just a bit afraid it might not get accepted but yes it got accepted in first try only so keep on coding i will see you again tomorrow till then keep on liking the videos okay all right bye